So hi everyone and welcome to the compression guide. Everything you need to know about compression in this video. I'm Craig Hansen. We're going to be looking at professional golfers. We're going to be looking at amateur players. We're going to be looking at some unbelievable drills to help you out and improve your ball striking immediately. Working with facts, working with evidence-based instruction. The closer you get to these positions, the better you're going to hit it. Moving through the wall, having your lateral shift, getting the shaft lean that you need. Top players, very, very similar in and around impact. And by understanding exactly where these positions are, thanks to people like Dr. Robert Neal, who's analyzed 550 PGA professionals, there's 13 degrees of Schaffling with Schäufler. Look at the right leg where it's moved to. We can get in there. This is what we're showing on world-class golf instruction, the averages of movement. And they're not all swinging different. That's, you know, they're all swinging just about the same as we can see from these positions here. Now, what you're looking at really doing is when you draw a line up, this is the wall, all right? Now you'll get an idea here of half the lead leg moving through the wall and getting into impact. The club players are having real issues with this. And uh, let's have a peek here. We're seeing a lot of the time it's set up. It's also a lot of the time, no movement, just being too far away from the wall and, you know, practicing hard, you know, and giving their all but just coming down to impact with little to no shaft lean, no movement through the wall. And from there, you can practice as much as you want. You're just not gonna get there. The right leg's often stationary. And so guys, you know, by looking at this blueprint of getting ourselves in the right position, it just makes it so much easier. Let's have a look at some of the things that we can do. Obviously, we show you a lot of this on world-class golf instruction, but let's have a look at some of the things that we can do to improve our ball striking immediately. If you are new to my channel, have consider subscribing. Uh, we're reaching a lot, a lot, of, a lot of people out there, and we're working really with evidence-based instruction uh, rather than the magic wand. You know, we're looking at uh, really helping people with uh, great information. So, guys, let's get stuck into this video, and I'm going to show you how you can improve your ball striking immediately. So, guys, you know, when you're looking at getting lateral movement, there's different ways you can do it. As you can see, we're just uh, pulling here with the band, one of my students, forwards just to create the feeling of getting, you know, half to three quarters of that left leg through the wall and preventing any lateral movement on the way back as well. Uh, once we can start to imitate some of the moves and the practice swings, we can start to apply it when we're practicing. So it's very interesting that, you know, imitating the, what the great players are doing, they get closer and closer to these positions. So guys, for immediate improvement, the fastest way to improve your iron play Simple, clear, easy to understand. Let's get straight into it. Compression on the right, flipped on the left, I flipped at impact. Now I've drawn a line up from the side of the lead leg here, and you can see the differences, right? The compression, you know, the player is up against the wall. This is just someone that came to me for a lesson and I was able to improve his ball striking just pretty much immediately. All right, so let's have a look here at what he does. He's got his set up more on the left side here, up against the wall. And, you know, getting through this wall is gonna help your compression, shaft lean ball ground, better contact, and less fat shots than in shots. Have a look at this one on the left. Can you see the difference there? Right, and I mean, that's not complicated stuff, right? You just see that on this side, it's closer to the wall. So it's easier to get through that wall for the masses of the people out. It's still possible, of course, from the left, but it's harder. You know, we don't wanna, we don't make it harder. So let's have a look what he does as he moves forwards and he's moving through the wall, right? So we know from the last couple of clips, we know the averages of movement, the evidence-based instruction. We know that we have four to six inches of movement in this direction on average. And we know, you know, getting half of that lead leg through the wall, is gonna help you hit it better, right? You're gonna hit, hit cleaner shots. So we've got around there 11 degrees of shaft lens. You know, I mean, it's nice to know the facts, right? And uh, then you're right inside those averages of movement. The closer you get, the better you hit. And you can see this one in the back here that it's just less shuffling. Well, we got we got like three degrees of shuffling. So the player on the right is going to be better, more consistent, you know. And these are some of the things that a lot of people just don't know that they're doing. And you know, you're going down there to practice and you're working hard, but you're not getting better. Working with evidence-based instruction, really important. I'm teaching people online all around the world. We've got the Zoom calls. You've got your swing analysts. You know, we're talking about your swing. So if you want me to become your coach, have a look at walkclassgolf.com. And guys, you know, working with a plan and a purpose moving forward. All right, let's get further along into the series and have a look at some great exercises and drills for you guys to get better ball, ground contact, and much more consistency. So guys, right, the first thing that we're looking at here with uh, this drill is to create separation so that we can get lateral shift and opening up 
separation from your bottom half to your top half before we move on to some other exercises. We're going to have a look here at the right leg, the ankle work, the knee work, where we're seeing a lot of the amateur players really in an, a position where the right knee is quite high from the angle, from the knee to the ankle into the high 70 degree area. And what I'm looking at doing is getting a little bit more lateral shift by getting the knee or the right knee to the golf ball, getting some separation. We're going to have a look at two little feels here. One of the drills you can simply do is get to the top and get your sequence right, get the timing right, is get to the top and when you've got a finish line is get that right knee to the finish line before your hands do. And this is going to help you get yourself to open up. Now I don't want the right knee kicking towards the ball, we want the right knee working towards the left. We're going to get that right foot to roll in a little bit like this and this is a great way to get separation. That right leg, that right knee, getting that to move effectively frees up your entire swing. Now to create some separation what we're going to do, it's a great drill, get your palms to point away from you, get your palms pointing down and on the way back you're going to get your right, your palms pointing away, leading with the knees and get your palms pointing away and in this position here we're feeling like we're holding something actually heavy and this will, for a lot of you out there, get that separation that you need and get your knee to the ball before your hands do and this is going to help you cover, get some lateral shift, get ourselves opening up getting a little bit of extension here and that's going to help us really cover this golf ball. Let's get further on into the video. So guys, getting a little bit more shaft lean in your downswing and getting a better position in this halfway position. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to really close up this gap and get a little bit of pressure, a little bit of bend in this left leg. Let's have a look at this drill here. Get to the top, close up the gap and just sit there and just feel that arm against your ribs. Get that left knee to bend. Once again, up to the top, left knee to bend, and we're gonna close up this gap. You're gonna feel that elbow right on that rib. You can see that elbow leading in, closing up that gap, move back, and then hit a ball. And create that sensation moving from, you know, the practice drill straight in to the golf ball. It's such an important area here for a lot of people to really understand. Getting up to the top, closing up that gap, getting some pressure onto that left knee, applying a few practice swings, and guys, it's really gonna help you, you know, get some better angles moving down. The more that this arm is away from our side, the wider the downswing, and the more problems we're having in and around impact. Great place to be, you know, getting this right elbow right up against the side of your hip and your ribs. So guys, right, rolling onto the outside of your lead foot. This is a really a great exercise. If you can get yourself to move through the golf ball, oh, hit that one good, and really rolling, just try and exaggerate, I'm trying to roll under the outside of that lead foot. What it does is it guarantees that you've got a little bit more lateral shift. It's a great exercise, great place to be when you're hitting golf balls and you're trying to get yourself across and you're rolling on to the outside of this lead foot. It really helps get compression and lateral movement through the golf ball. A centered head, keeping a really centered head in your backswing is such an important part to really keep great compression. If you can keep yourself really centered, you've got a great chance moving up and the shoulder away is causing troubles. Really want to get this right side extending, left side moving down, and keeping a centered head and practicing that, that's gonna help you cover the golf ball. Where your head is, is where you're gonna to tend to hit. So for a lot of the club golfers really being back behind and this shoulder not moving through the wall is one of the major reasons why they cannot get compression. Keep yourself centered, get yourself set up so that your shaft and left arms in one line, you got your left hip over the left ankle and that's gonna help a lot of you get through the wall when you keep or make it much easier to move through the wall, keep yourself centered. 
So guys, right, we're looking at a drill here to really create some compression. We're looking at really getting this lead wrist to stay in a very flat or even, you know, a flex position at impact here. And this drill, what we're gonna do is we're gonna move through the golf ball. We're gonna try and keep the arms really straight. Now, for advanced players, what we can do with this shot is we can keep the heel of the club a little bit up. You know, you keep some connection in here, for club players, I'd be looking at really getting that club face to turn and roll over so that you've got the, the sole of the club there pointed up towards 12 o'clock. But what we're trying to do is really keep these hands, it's really like a, an extended punch shot here, and it will help a lot of you get a sensation of what's happening as long as you keep sort of letting the club release. So moving through the ball, I'll just hit one more here and we'll get it right in to the position here where we can see this extension here. You can sort of see them. It's, it's trying to get into this position. It's really extremely difficult to do. World Class Golf Instruction has over 700 detailed videos for every golfer. Practice programs and evidence-based material is applied to helping you to become your own coach and play your best golf. And join us in the chat room and join the community of World Class Golf Instruction. But if you can create more of a line here with the left arm and the shaft, you know, get yourself set up with the hands forwards and then you can get a feeling of really creating that compression. I really got some compression on that one. It's a, an exaggeration drill. We've seen that used a lot by Mac O'Grady moving through the golf ball. For advanced players, as I said, keeping the heel up a little bit, you might get a touch of fade on it and what a lot of advanced players like. But for the club player, letting it release, but getting that left arm and club in one line here with some release will give you a feeling of a really, really solid uh, impact position to improve your compression. So guys, right, getting shaft lean, we need a square club face. So if you're slicing the ball, you're not gonna get any shaft lean. So when we close the club face here and I lean the shaft forwards, the club face goes to square. What, what we're really seeing more often is stronger and stronger grips out on tour, you know, moving into a three knuckle grip. But for you guys, if you can get the club face control, it's gonna help you. If you've got an, an open face to square it up, you've gotta flip it. So somewhere along the line, you're gonna be flipping it back to square it subconsciously. So strengthen up your grip. One of the things you can look at to add to compression is really getting club face control. So that club face is pointed more at one o'clock your right hand is pointed away from you towards the camera and that's going to get that lead wrist a little bit more into flexion and hopefully then that's going to help you and bring this club down in a position where it can come in behind the hands and be slightly on this side of 12 o'clock. If we want to really get this logo pointed downwards and also here and as you can see it's an easier way to get compression. If I'm opening up the face with a bit of a weak grip or if I'm coming down and I'm open you can just see it's not going to be compressed as well, is it? I'm going to have to flip that. So club face awareness, these are some of the things that we're showing you on World Class Golf Instruction, worldclassgolf.com, all in one place. Club face awareness, getting your wrist alignments to work more effectively. All these things, just working on great information to get yourself moving in the right direction with your golf.